frog with jaws strong enough to crush bone, a bird heavier than a grizzly bear, and elephants so tiny you could mistake them for a pet. These might all look crazy, but they were real animals all shaped by the same hidden rule of evolution. It's called the Island Rule, and nowhere shows this better than Madagascar. Around 70 million years ago, Madagascar produced Bufu and Pinga, a frog armoured like a tank, 16 inches long, with jaws strong enough to bite through baby dinosaurs. Scientists called it the frog from hell, and for good reason. Its bones were so thick and robust that researchers knew it was a vicarious predator that could take down vertebrates. To put size into perspective, the largest frog in Madagascar today is just 4 inches long, so this thing could well be the largest frog that's ever lived, but there's something even more mysterious about it. It's closely related to frogs living in South America today, thousands of miles across the ocean, suggesting that some evolutionary lineages not only survived the continental split, but continued to thrive in isolation, becoming one of the most unique evolutionary experiments we have ever discovered. Fast forward 70 million years and Madagascar was also home to the Vorombe Titan, the heaviest bird that has ever lived. This thing grew to 3 meters tall, weighing 800 kilograms, stomping through the forests on massive legs. With no oversized mammal predators or herbivores, Madagascar's birds and amphibians claimed those roles. As they moved through the forests, they ate massive fruits and seeds that no other animal could handle, then spread them across Madagascar through their droppings. It's thought that human activity like hunting and farming 1000 years ago caused the extinction of the elephant birds, leaving a deep ecological crisis for Madagascar's plant life. This led to entire species of trees that had evolved alongside the elephant birds suddenly had no way to spread their seeds, and the forests began to change in ways we're still trying to understand today. This is the island rule we're talking about. The small animals grow to enormous sizes, but the same rule can also make larger animals to dwarf in size. Let's hop over to the islands of the Mediterranean Sea. We see here the perfect example of this island dwarfism, because here, during the Ice Age, sea levels dropped by hundreds of feet. Suddenly, land bridges appeared everywhere, and full-sized elephants wandered across them from mainland Europe, reaching islands like Malta and Sicily. Then, the ice melted. The bridges vanished underwater, trapping entire elephant herds on tiny islands. You had 4 meter tall elephants stuck on islands with barely enough food to support rabbits. They couldn't leave, they couldn't call for help, so basically they had to adapt or die. So what happened? Generation after generation, the biggest elephants starved first. Only the smaller ones survived to breed. Over thousands of years, Paleoloxodon falcareni evolved into the tiniest elephant that ever lived. Adults stood at just one meter tall, the size of a large pig. A fully grown elephant you could literally pet like a dog. But while the elephants were shrinking, Malta's swans exploded in size, becoming Cygnus falcareni, nearly 2 meters long and 3 meter wingspans. These giant swans shared beaches with sheep-sized elephants. When normal competitors disappear, evolution fills the gaps, but some islands pushed it even further. Here in New Zealand, there were basically no native land mammals at all, which left birds to fill every single role in the ecosystem. Around 57 million years ago, penguins the size of humans patrolled the beaches. Kumimaro Fordisi weighed 160 kilograms and stood nearly 2 meters tall. New Zealand was also home to the flightless moa, growing to absolutely absurd sizes, wandering the forests like feathered giants reaching 250 kilograms. But around 1.8 million to 700,000 years ago, something started hunting these massive birds. So how do you kill a prey animal that is 15 times heavier than you? Hast's eagle pulled off one of evolution's most incredible transformations. It started as a tiny Australian eagle, only weighing around 1 kilogram. But in New Zealand, with the giant moa everywhere and no mammal predators to compete with, these little eagles had a massive opportunity, so they grew. Fast. 
In under 2 million years, Hast's eagle quadrupled in size. It is believed to have had the fastest evolutionary size increase ever recorded of any vertebrate. Females reached 15 kilograms with talons the size of tiger claws, but they couldn't actually fly away with their kills. The moa were too heavy, so they developed a completely new hunting strategy. They would swoop down, use their massive talons to topple the giant moa, and then feed on the carcass right there, a bird of prey that hunted like a big cat. You can see why scientists called it a flying tiger. For hundreds of thousands of years, this huge bird ruled New Zealand's skies and forests. But when Polynesian settlers arrived around 700 years ago and began hunting the moa to extinction, the Hast's eagle lost one of its only food sources. But over in the Caribbean, things are about to get even weirder, because here, Cuba's forests were filled with peaceful giants, ground sloths of different sizes, some even weighing up to 200 kilograms, slowly munching on leaves and fruits. No big predators stalked them, no threats lurked in the shadows, and then evolution created something to fill that void. This thing is called the Ornimegalonyx, it's a meter tall owl that couldn't sustain flight. Yeah, this wasn't your typical owl perched in trees, hooting softly at night. This was a ground running nightmare with legs built for sprinting and talons designed for killing. 10 kilograms of pure predator. Ornimegalonyx terrorized the smaller ground sloths on the island. While normal owls swooped down from above, this cursorial owl chased its prey through the forest floor like a feathered wolf. Its wings were tiny and almost useless for flight, but its legs were massive and built for speed. Small mammals had nowhere to hide. The owl would sprint after them, leap onto their backs, and use its enormous talons to bring them down. Then, it would tear into the carcass, feeding where the kill fell. And who knows, maybe it even gave the 200 kilogram sloths nightmares. A 10 kilogram bird hunting 200 kilogram mammals. It's not completely out of the ordinary when the island rule is in effect, but this pattern wasn't new. In fact, it goes way further than anyone imagined. 70 million years ago, long before mammals ruled the earth, an island existed in what is now Romania. Hateg Islands was populated by dwarf dinosaurs sauropods and hadrosaurs that had shrunk to a fraction of their mainland size. But something was hunting them, and these predators were unlike anything paleontologists had ever seen. Meet Balor Bondok, a raptor that evolution has modified into a killing machine. While every other raptor had one sickle claw per foot, Balor had two. Its first toe had rotated forward, giving it an extra deadly talon on each foot, four sickle claws instead of two. It was like someone had taken a velociraptor and added extra weapons. What makes Balor even stranger is that it wasn't some bizarre evolutionary accident. It was a consistent feature across the entire species, a deliberate modification by evolution itself. Phylogenetic analysis revealed that Balor was closely related to velociraptor, but isolation on Heteg Island had transformed it into something completely different. So why would evolution create such an over-the-top killing machine? The island effect that dwarfed the herbivores may have pushed Balor in the opposite direction. With smaller prey and different hunting challenges, it evolved not just extra claws, but also lost a finger on each hand, perhaps helping it become even more efficient. And then there was another apex predator. Hatzedopteryx was a pterosaur the size of a giraffe, with a wingspan reaching 12 meters. But unlike other pterosaurs that soared gracefully through the air, this giant traded elegance for raw power. Its neck was short and stocky, built to handle massive loads. Its skull stretched nearly 3 meters long and was so thick, the scientists initially mistook the fossils for dinosaur bones. Hatzedopteryx became a land-stalking giant. It hunted on foot, using its enormous beak to bludgeon and stab prey, too large to swallow whole. A flying reptile that ruled the island of dwarfs. So in the end, island showers evolution's most creative side. Every piece of land cut off from the mainland can become a lab where normal rules don't apply, where frogs become dinosaur hunters, where birds grow into giants, 
where the smallest predators can terrorize the largest prey. Today, you only have to look at the Komodo dragon to see the island rule in full effect. And with climate change and habitat shifts, you've got to wonder what will be the next giant or dwarf. But if you thought this was evolution at its craziest, wait until we see the most evil tale in dinosaur history.